I wish I could make positive Formula One videos. I know I made one about Lando Norris winning at Miami, but that was more because I'm a Lando Norris fan and he's my second favorite driver. Plus, I haven't made a video in over a month at that time. And also, why not? So, at least that was a positive video. When it comes to the current state of Formula One, I am, like, let's just say conflicted. Like, of course, I want to, like, watch more Formula One and be more supportive about it as much as I can. But unfortunately, it's hard to because of how Formula One is nowadays in the Liberty Media era of what's going on right now. Formula One adding sprint racing, a lot of random not so good stuff, the Andretti stuff, the Michael Massey stuff. There's just a lot of not so good stuff going on, even the Vegas stuff. Before I begin with the ranting of Drive to Survive, I just want to say that I remember when Liberty Media bought Formula One. And I thought it was a good thing because back in 2018, America got to watch some Formula One races commercial free on ESPN. Well, it wasn't like that at first, but it became like that later on in the year. And then Formula One grew in America. And at the time, I thought it was cool. Like, hey, Formula One in America, it's awesome. It's, it's amazing to see them like grow and forget about the 2005 United States Grand Prix at Indianapolis and all that stuff. Like, hey, they learned from it. They're going to be good. They're going to be competing against NASCAR. And... Well, um, yeah. Unfortunately, those kind of positivities, no, it's not there. I wish I could say at the moment at least, but pff, I doubt it anytime soon, I guess. So what I want to talk about is try to survive. Um, I remember like watching like season one, two, like season one, I thought it was fine. And season two, I thought it was fine as well. But then season three, it started to become like, downhill for me in my opinion there were more fakeness like faking rivalry just faking a lot of stuff and there was this one moment during season three that pissed me off so much i was like you know what i'm done with the series it was the roman grosjean accident at the bahrain grand prix in real life grosjean got out of the car after being trapped there trying to get out for like after 27 seconds but netflix portrayed that accident as Grosjean trying to get out of the car after two minutes. Two minutes. And I thought it was the most disrespectful thing I ever saw that they done to Drive to Survive in Formula One on Netflix. It, it, it was just insulting, just disgusting that they had to, like, do that. I had enough after that. I think Drive to Survive has poisoned the sport. Before the Drive to Survive stuff... I think there was, like, a lot of, like, F1 fan bases being low. Like, yeah, sure, there were, like, toxic F1 fans. Of course, they're still there, unfortunately. But at least they were loyal. Like, oh, how they got into the sport was, like, a pretty interesting reason. And when it came to, like, the Netflix stuff, like, oh, I got into F1 because Netflix. You would think that would be cool nowadays because of, you know, oh, what's going on nowadays, like, the in the world today. Like, you know, the internet and streaming and all that stuff. No. The Drive to Survive fans, they are honestly the worst fans in Formula One. They think that show is real. And they think like whatever is on Drive to Survive equals it's really what's going on in Formula One. And it has hurt the sport. It really has hurt the sport. And it's just so damn unfortunate. And when it comes to like the fan bases, they're even worse online as well. Like, I don't know who to blame more, like the creators of Dry to Survive or the fan base. I would like to say both. Of course, like whenever you bring up like, oh, the show is fake and all that. People are like, oh, but it's supposed to be fake. It's supposed to be dramatization. It's not supposed to be for real fans. And I hate that opinion so much because I saw Formula One Dry to Survive because it was a racing TV show. I saw it because I'm a racing fan. The fact that, like, non-racing fans see the show and then they watch Formula 1 and they're, like, toxic. No, not all of them, by the way. I know Drive to Survive fans will, like, actually learn about the sport. Good for them. It's just unfortunate. It's just a terrible look for the sport. Terrible look on the fan base. I mean, the fan base is already bad enough, but holy shit, this is even worse. I know I'm rambling, but I've been wanting to, like, make a video about this for a while. The Formula One Drive to Survive TV show is the worst thing that happened in Formula One as well. The way they fake a real-life racing series, it's so stupid. I know Formula One is not the most exciting racing series out there. I can understand that. 
But if you want to make a Formula One show, but make it exciting, show the best parts of Formula One, like real life hard racing, real drama, all those things. It's not hard. Why dramatize it and fake it? It's stupid. It's insulting to real racing. It's just terrible. And the fact that the show is still going, it's sad, dude. It is sad. I know this won't happen anytime soon, but I hope to God, Dry to Survive ends. It is the worst thing that has happened to Formula One. Yeah, it has made Formula One popular. Hooray. Well, guess what? Formula One got more popular with that show. They got lucky during lockdown. Oh, God. I said that backwards. But Formula One only got popular with that show thanks to COVID. Thanks to lockdown when nobody knew what the hell to do besides watch stuff on TVs or phones and laptops and all that stuff. I remember season one and two not being too bad. Unfortunately, there might be a little fakeness. But I don't remember that well. Like, I don't know. Apparently, they portrayed Danny Ricardo or some asshole in season one, I think. That's stupid. Why would you want to fake a real-life racing series? That's my problem. Why would you do that? If you want to make some fictional Formula One series with fake drama, like, if you want to make some random TV show Formula One, like, fiction stuff, I don't know. Okay, whatever. But to fake a real-life sport... Is stupid. I'm so glad I stopped watching after season three because it got worse. It got worse. Yeah, I know, like, oh, like, people like the memes of Gunther Steiner, uh, Smash Fucking Door, whatever. Yeah, I know there's some good memes about it. I do like the Kimi Raikkonen, the short uh, Kimi Raikkonen thing back in, like, season three. So, look, there's a positive right there. So, don't be like, oh, you're always complaining. I like the Kimi thing, but that's about it. Oh, not everything else about the show is terrible as poison. The sport as poison, like, a lot of people who are into f1 because of the show again i'm not saying that's all of them but i'm referring to the people that know formula on based off of the show only or not even watch the series at all not even watch the race at all those kind of people don't belong in racing in formula one i'm referring to like oh the ones that watch the show and think oh this and that i, I don't know i'm rambling oh i'm i'm rambling so yeah it has not made things better yeah, I know. Ooh, popularity grew and all that shit. Cool. But it's poison the sport, though. I hate it. I hate I hate it when you fake a real sport. It's the worst thing ever. Like, um, being honest. Like, I, I mean, you don't have to be 100% honest. Like, show the exciting parts of a season if a season like 2022, well, second half of 2022 and 2023 being mid. Show the exciting stuff only. Like, a real exciting stuff. Not faking with fake bullshit drama rivals show the really real exciting stuff if there's any but no you just gotta fake the show absolute stupidity so yeah i've been wanting to make a rant about this for a while don't watch try to survive i don't recommend it and i wouldn't want to watch nascar's netflix series yeah i know it's not fake thank goodness they didn't fake it like they did a try to survive but that show's mainly about the chase so i'm staying out of it plus netflix is overrated and it used to be cool. So yeah, that's going to do it for another video. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Ian the Motorsports Man signing off. Goodbye, everybody. And if you want to watch Formula One, even when there's like not so good racing, tune in on Sundays if you'd like. But don't watch Try to Survive. It's a terrible show. Goodbye.